Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna do a quick little video, like maybe 15 minutes or less, uh, on unboxing my NECA uh, Chucky. Um, I got it in the, in the, uh, from you know Amazon today, and uh, I'll probably end up doing some photography with it tomorrow. Uh, it's stinking hot out here. It's like 103 degrees, which is like 50 degrees too hot. <laughs> anyway. Um, but uh, I want to show you guys, I'm anxious to open this and see what it looks like. I, I, uh, I actually, in all honesty, I should have bought the, the, the set with uh, Chucky and his bride, but for some reason uh, it wasn't on Prime and I wanted to get it now because I'm impatient and impulsive, so I just got the Chucky. But uh, I want to open it up and take a look at it and review it real quick with you guys so you can see uh, you know, if it's cool or not. And I think it's going to be really a, a, a cool um, figure to shoot. Uh, it's still horror, which is what I like. Um, and it's smaller than the normal NECA that I buy, but uh, I think my lenses are going to really be, it's going to be a really fun uh, toy to shoot. So anyway, that being said, let's go ahead and cut the box open. Okay, so uh, just a little heads up, you might hear a fan in the background or my neighbor's rooster crowing, which his clock is broken. That thing crows day and night and all points in between. I've never met a rooster with a broken clock, but this one has one. And uh, there's no good time to edit that rooster out uh, and shoot video without him making noise. So that being said, uh, let's go ahead and unbox this uh, figure and see what we got here from the wonderful folks of NECA. And, uh, I'm, like I said, I'm excited. I think this is going to be a really nice uh, toy to photograph. And uh, throw that to the side. Okay. Now, if you're collecting these, I guess, and you want to keep the boxes all beautiful and pristine, then this wouldn't be the one to do. But I'm not into really collecting. I'm into photographing and playing with my stuff. But that didn't sound good. But I'm into playing with the, the toys. <laughs> good Lord. Uh, so at any rate, I, I do I do like these boxes that they have these uh, little Velcro, you know, windows, uh, little latches in the in the window in here, and I really like the way this image uh, looks. I think I could have shot it better. <laughs> Neca call me, but it's really a cool image. I like this tile uh, style of window in it. Let's take a look and see. It's got one, two, three, four heads total. And a whole variety of, of weapons, mostly knives. I like that. Um, the outside of the box is kind of childlike and, you know, uh, good guys. He wants to be, he wants you for a best friend. Uh, he's got all the little, you know, stuff from the movie on here. Little guy in various poses. And then you flip it over on the back and it's not so childlike. It's... <laughs> it's more sinister uh, so I, I really like that it's got him with a, each different head on here and that's really cool okay so let's get to the fun part of it because the box is great but I want the toy and uh, so let's open this up and like I said I want to keep this video kind of short just since I'm gonna open this I figured I might as well do it and put a video of it on on, on the channel uh, so set that box to the side okay and we've got uh, not really sure what uh, he wants to be your best friend there maybe he come always oh, comes okay I got it. it's like a little prop box it's you can put him in here and and, uh, and store him in here I guess like he was like you came new from the store and you were giving them to somebody or something. I don't think that I'm going to use this. I mean, I could use it for something in photography. We'll see. But anyway, there's a little uh, box that folds clothes and, and he fits inside there. Um, we'll put this stuff to the side. Because I really just care about the doll. That's it, man. Uh, and I do like the way that they actually made it this whole molded piece that goes in there. Sometimes what you'll see is you'll see that they'll just put 
<laughs> there's some wind. Uh, they'll just put tape over the weapons, and I really don't like that because I hate trying to pull the tape off and then the weapon comes off. And uh, but I, I I really like this. This is a good piece. Uh, and let me pull. Oh, this guy looks so super cool, man. Let me pull uh, pull him out and pull his hand off while I do that. <laughs> oh man. It's one of those days. It's heat out here today. I tell you, it's just, it's not even something I'm a fan of. I'm not a fan of the heat at all. So let's pop this guy out, put his hand back on. And right away, I like the way he feels. It's, and maybe just because it's, because he's small and he feels a little softer than, <sighs> look at this guy. How can you not like this figure? You know, the amount of detail that is in this little doll for being, what, what's it, how tall is this? Four inch? I don't know. Uh, not even that. He's probably like three inch. So from tip to top, would that be the same thing? Top to bottom. Uh, let's see. Really, I would say he's probably 3.75. I mean, to the very tip arch of his head, it's still less, just just shy of four inches. But the amount of detail that's in this little doll is crazy. And I'm going to have a good time shooting this doll, uh, doing some photography. Um, smells incredible. I love the new smell, the smell of a new toy, uh, that plastic. Look at this. He really does have some good articulation. Better, gosh, look at this. I wish my Jasons could articulate like this. Good gosh. His hand goes right up to the side of his head. Look at that. And he can touch his head. I think that is awesome. He's got some great arm movement. Great shoulder movement. What a cool little figure. Let's check out his, his feet can go left or right. There's a slight rocking also in the ankle. Ah. Uh, and he's got the, his hips can turn. I'm sure he can sit flat. As soon as I say that, he won't be able to. <laughs> Let's see how flat he sits. Okay, well, he sits flat. The more you put his legs out, the flatter he'll sit, I guess. Perhaps not. Okay, so he does sit flat, but this little rubber part of his body that's uh, his overalls it's covering the, the the joints I don't want to stretch it too much but I guess he does sit flat kind of but he could sit flat a little better but he does sit flat you know um he's got some good knee movement his legs move around quite a bit I like that the face on him and I'll take uh, I'll take a couple still images I'll put one up of the the happy face I'll put one up now and this gives you an idea of where you can you know you can take a look and see the detail he's got a happy face his eyes he's got his little teeth and his little eyebrows and he looks like a little cornball uh, I just really am amazed at how awesome the color the texture the texture in the overalls the little rubber torso uh, the little rubber uh, midsection you know down here at his waist covers these articulation uh, joints I like the way this little rubber you know uh, covering is the overall it's really nice his head spins completely around which is cool because you're gonna use that you know in in doing the photography with him because in the movie he was in some crazy poses let's see how well his head pops off oh wow he's got a he's got a big hole in there not like some of the other neck of figures where they have the little small hole in the in the little long pointy stem, uh, and it pops on really nice and and easy. It's just got a lot of movement in there because it just spins around on there, and there's nothing to really impede the movement because he doesn't have long hair, so it doesn't bounce on, you know, get caught on each shoulder to prevent it from spinning around. So that's really cool. This little guy is awesome, man. Uh, so far, I really am digging it. Uh, let's look at some of these other heads that he has. This head, this is more of the sinister scar over the eye head. Uh, and I like it, and I tell you what, it, it has some loose, 
loose hair on it, which is nice. It's not real hair. It's it's you know plastic, but it's it's loose, so it's kind of cool. Uh, and I'll put a picture of this head up on the screen now, so that you can get an idea of of, of how it looks. It's got some really nice detail in the scarring and the um, looks like some stitching. Uh, you know, it just sort of looks like a distressed face. He's been through some shit, and uh, and I can appreciate that. Okay, so that's one head, and on the back of it, I really like the coloring of the hair. They really did a good job coloring this head. Uh, let's take a look at the other head. They are really dang tough to get out of the package, man. These, I don't know what it is, but this this plastic has really got these heads in here in a tough way. Oh, this is great. Okay. I'm going to put the picture of this head up on the screen now. Look at the side of this face and all this detail in his uh, chunked out part of his face there. You know, that's just really awesome. These guys do such a great job. NECA does. I really like NECA. Uh, you know, and I'm going to leave the picture up and, and discuss it real quick so you guys can see. I mean, you've got the little tendon and the fibrous muscle and his teeth are there. It's just really nice, nicely done. And the blood goes over the edge of the skin. It doesn't stop at the edge of the skin where it's torn. It overlaps to the outside, which, which makes it look really cool for photography. It's gonna be some nice detail. I really like that head, man. That's a good job, good job. So this last head, and it's a clean face. There's no scarring, there's no anything. I'll put a picture of it up on the screen now. He's just doing a grimace, okay? Um, and his hair is a different style than in all the, you know, in each of these four heads, too, the hair is an entirely different style, and I like that. So that's cool. You could tell NECA didn't just throw the head on top and then just change the face. They actually changed the whole head, which which is nice. I, I like that. And I'll, uh, so there's those four pictures, uh, or the three pictures of the heads. And um, moving right along from the heads, let's talk about these cool weapons. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'll tell you, let me, let me go through each of these knives. Okay, and I'll lay these out and, at the end and take a picture, a close-up picture of each of the knives. This first butcher knife, okay, it's, it's nice. What I do like on it is the blade is shiny. It's not like a flat, dull, matte uh, blade. No, there's no blood on it. It's a clean blade. Um, the handle does have some little rivets in it. But it does have the shiny blade, and I like that. Sometimes you get a blade, and it's just kind of dry, matte, dull, grayish silver. This one is a shiny, shiny blade. And let's move on to uh, another one of these knives. This knife here is more like a pirate knife. I don't know what you'd call this. I'll put a picture of it up on the screen now. It's pretty cool. Um, it's a shiny blade also. It's got some good detail in the handle. Uh, I think this would be more like a pirate knife, is what I'm thinking this would be. Uh, no blood, it's clean blade, um, but there is there's a lot of detail in it, and uh, the handle is even, it looks like a, a leather handle, so I really like that, it's really nice. Now here is a razor, like a, a barber's razor, whoa, that thing just totally jumped out of the package, uh, onto the floor. Now this barber's razor is really nice. It's got a distressed wooden handle. I'll put a picture of it up on the screen now because you won't see these on the camera. Okay, it's got a lot of great detail in this. I really like this little blade and I think I might have fun photographing that one for sure. As small as it is, it's going to be a fun photograph. I've got the lenses to do it. Um, let's take a look at... I don't know if this is a prison shank. <laughs> what? Oh no, you know what? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, it's his arm, or it's his, yeah, it's his hand. Let's see, let's take a picture and put it up on the screen. So this would go into, oh, I see. Let me pop, let me pop his arm out and see if I can get a picture of this. Uh, I don't know where this pops out at. I don't want to damage the doll. There it goes. Okay, so at his elbow on his right arm, it pops out. And this piece pops in. I'll put a picture of it up on the screen now. 
Oh, he's got the shiv hand. He's got the prison shiv hand. <laughs> it's Baraka. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so that's kind of cool. I don't know. I don't know that I'm going to... I mean, I'll find a use for it in photography. I, uh... It's, it's cool, but, but anyway, yeah, that does pop in and pop out. And there's a picture on the screen uh, for you to see. That's pretty cool. Uh, I do like that. Um, I just was careful to, when I popped his arm out. I didn't, I don't know if it'll pop out on both arms or just the one arm. I think it just pops out on that one. I don't want to pull on his other arm and ruin my, ruin my toy. Uh, but that being said, that's a cool little weapon. and uh, it's, it's an arm blade. Okay, then he's got... Um, then we've got a baseball bat. Let's take a look at this baseball bat. Now, the, I'll put this picture of this up on the screen now. The baseball bat is void of any markings or grain or any any detail at all. It's just the shape of a brown baseball bat. Okay. Um, on to the hammer. The hammer is cool. It's got his uh, good guys... Um, good guy uh, label on there and it's a clean little hammer there's no blood it's a nice clean little little tool and there's a picture of that up on the screen you can see what that looks like it's cute um, then we've got over here one of these knives I'll put this up on the screen now this I think this is like a th throwing knife I don't know what this would be it's got some detail on here some uh, symbols oh a ceremonial knife perhaps uh, and that's kind of cool. Uh, and that's up on screen now for you to take a look at. Then we do have a little pistol. Which... It does have quite a bit of detail on the little pistol. I like it. You know, there's a picture on the screen now. Um, I'm not going to have to change the hand for this one to fit to one of his other hands. Yeah, because it's got a really long hand grip on the pistol. Uh, and we'll put that up on the screen. So, and, and like I say, he does have uh, some different hands. And the, some hands are pretty specific for the weapon. Uh, one hand is very specific for the gun. Uh, and each of them fits a different tool, uh, you know, uh, a little better than the other. Um, and he's got this yardstick. This is just a real quick run through of this figure. Uh, I'm going to do some photography with it tomorrow and uh, create a video out of that. But, um... Overall, I, I, I really like this little figure and I'm excited to do some photography with it. You've seen the pictures of the weapons and the detail and the heads and the detail. And I think it's a really nice little figure. Um, you know, I'm glad I bought it as I am with most of my NECA figures. Uh, it's going to be a fun time with some really cool photography. Stay tuned for that video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, check out my website, www.insightfulimagery.com. Check out some really cool t-shirts uh, and different uh, wall prints that you can buy from some of my toy photography. Uh, and if you're interested in buying this little guy, there's a link down below in the description uh, that'll take you right to Amazon to buy it. And if you do want to buy him, please use my link. It helps support my channel and you get the same great price and the same great shopping experience uh, on Amazon. It just tracks it and gives me a little small commission out of it um so at any rate you guys take care appreciate you following along stay tuned for the video that i post uh on the photography